Just like the title says, we are going to go through seven anti-aging skincare ingredients that I feel like every mature woman should have and be using. But I want you to pause this video. I want you to pause it. I want you to go down into the comment section, take a second and list what you think the seven are. And then we'll see at the end how we compare in what we feel like is the most important. Today's video is really fun for me because I am so passionate about skincare. And I've been saying to you all that I wanted to get into skincare on the channel more than makeup. And this is kind of the kickoff of that. I'm really excited to share with you the skincare ingredients that I have found that are so very important to anti-aging. And a couple might surprise you. Most of them are you've heard about a million times. And what I'm going to do because I get asked in every single video if i just talked about the ingredient a lot of you would be asking well what is your favorite so i'm going to list one to three favorites in each category or each of the seven so that you can see which ones are my favorites some of them i've been using for years some of them are newer to me but they are all fantastic products before we do get started i will show you my shirt really quickly i love this shirt it has an interesting neckline and i love the blue about it my earrings my jewelry all the makeup that i'm wearing everything will be listed and linked below and you have all been asking me to do some tutorials and now that i'm kind of set i'm on my bed today and now that i'm kind of set here on my bed i think i'll be able to do a few tutorials for you where i'm not feeling so stressed out about having everything per everything perfect in my filming room so that's just a little side note let's start off talking about niacinamide now niacinamide is a very overlooked in my opinion ingredient in skincare and it's being added more and more to different formulas as just a side note which is fantastic because you don't have to go out and add an extra one but I do feel like it is so important because of everything that it does. First of all, niacinamide is one of those ingredients that plays nice with everybody. It is just everybody's friend. You can use it with retinols, vitamin Cs, any actives, and it's not going to disrupt their pH. And what niacinamide does is it can help if you have sensitive skin, it can calm down your skin. Also, if you have acne prone skin, it can help calm acne prone skin as well. And it is thought to block the enzyme melanin, which is responsible for all of the uneven skin tone and the dark spots. It can also fight harmful stressors like UV rays and you, that you didn't get enough sleep, pollution in the air, all of those things. It's just one of those ones that is all around an all around goodie ingredient. And this one right here, it happens to be the one that I am working through right now. This is the Kosar X. This is the Advanced Snail Radiance dual serum so it has two barrels in here and i've shown this to you before it has the snail mucin on one side and then the niacinamide on the other side and i have just been enjoying the heck out of this it's a really good one it gives you that snail mucin that really power packed hydration that you need but it also gives that niacinamide with all those beautiful benefits and this is something that you could use at the end of all of your serums right before your moisturizer you can use this morning and night my very favorite niacinamide toner i actually don't have right now i will put up a picture and that is the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner Oh my word, the first time that I started using this, I was maybe a week into it, a few days into it. And I noticed that my pores were looking different. And I was like, is this for real? Can this be something that is for real? Can it, this be truly finding my pores and really making my skin look more radiant and sure enough the more i use that the better off my skin was i go back to this one over and over again so niacinamide is our first ingredient that we're looking at next ingredient that we're looking at to give a power boost of what we're fighting with anti-aging is SPF. And I know I probably should have left this to the last because everybody does this in the last of their routine. But I feel like if you are not using an SPF, what does it matter if you're using any of, the, any of these other skincare ingredients? UV rays, UVB rays, UVA rays, they all damage our skin. We do not realize the amount of damage. Now, if you want to know the amount of damage that it can do, I have a chest full of it. My face, I've worked really hard on, but I, I think that through the years, I did wear a sun visor when I was a kid, so that kind of helped a little bit, but through the years, my neck was getting all of that damage. And yes, there are other ingredients that help that as much, but not as much as preventing. And preventative is so much better because then you don't have to just work harder and harder and harder to be able to take care of the sunspots 
or the wrinkles or anything that you've accumulated because you have done the damage. So I have a couple that I really, really love. And my old standby for years and years has been the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer with the SPF of 46. This has been one that I absolutely adore. It's a broad spread broad spectrum of UVA and UVB protection. Yes, this does have mineral sunscreen in it, but it also does have the chemical sunscreen in it so that you don't know, do know that. But this is one that I can use every single day. And even on the days that I'm not wearing makeup, it's got that little bit of a tint in it. And it just really does even out the skin a little bit. It's not coverage at all, I wouldn't say, but it does give that little bit of a tint, a little bit of a glow because it's hyper moisturizing, locks all of my skin care in place. And this is the one that I've been loving for as long as I can remember. This other one that I have been using probably for a couple of months, but I'm really impressed with this one from the Inky List. And it's polyglutamic acid. I always want to put a maic in there, but I know it's not that. And it's the Dewy Sunscreen SPF of 30. 30 is the bare minimum to use on your face. And I love this one because that polyglutamic acid, it really is very dewy. And my skin is extremely dry. This also has squalane in it. And I love both of those. I feel like it is just just hyper moisturizer and I love that about it. Any guesses as to what our next ingredient is? These are ingredients that are super important for making us look youthful fairly quickly. No, most of your skincare, you are wanting to, you know, use it a long time, at least four to six weeks, that's bare minimum, to see a change in mature skin. But this ingredient, you don't have to wait. And what is it? It is the chemical exfoliants. And what I mean by that is any of your AHAs, your BHAs, PHAs, so that's glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, all of those acids that turn the skin over. They're sloughing the skin, they're helping us get rid of dead skin. Why is that so important? Because when you are trying to build new skin with other ingredients, you need to slough off this old dead skin in order for that pretty new skin to show up. I do a chemical exfoliant at least three times a week. I think it's so important. Some of them you can leave on. Some of them, I my skin is fairly sensitive, so I don't leave them on. One of them that I leave on for as long as I possibly can, and I'm trying to build up because I love this one. This one is from Dermalec, and this is the Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. So you use this at night. I use it probably two nights a week, three nights a week, and it's the glycolic salicylic and l ascorbic acids. So it has that trifecta of those acids that are going to really go in there and they're going to get that dead skin and they're going, you're going to be able to slough off that dead skin. What it does is you're going to put it on at night and in the morning you are going to see much softer, smoother skin. Now, one thing that I learned when I first started this because of my sensitive skin, I would put it on and I would just try so hard to keep it on as long as I possibly could because I get that tingling. The tingling is normal. If you get pain, that's not normal. I would get to the point that after a little while the tingling would turn into pain and I would go in and I would use this kind of like you would a mask and then I would just use a, a, some water to neutralize it and a cloth to wipe it off and then go on with my other skincare. Now you might be able to handle this, you know, more times a week than three. If you can, that's fine, but you do want to use this on opposite nights of your retinols if you're using any retinols at all. I know that there is a high trend going around right now that says that you can use the acids along with your actives, which is the retinol. And if you have skin that, that is okay with that, go ahead. But make sure that you're starting out really slowly. You're going to need to not kill your skin or shock your skin. I just about did. When I wanted to try that trend, what I did was I used some sort of an acid on my face, waited 15 to 20 minutes, and then put my retinol on it. And in the morning, my skin was paying for it. And I had a lot of pain and a lot of redness. And it took me a few days to get over that. So if you have sensitive skin, you probably won't be able to do that, but that's okay because these actives are cu accumulative and we can really get effective skincare even if we're not bombarding our skin with these actives all at once. So this is one that I absolutely love. And then the other one I've talked to you about, this one is very, very gentle. And there are days when I like to use this one, by the way, this is the Sewn By Me AHA, BHA, PHA, 30 Days Miracle Toner. When you look this up on Amazon, it will talk about that this is for acne prone skin. And that is true, but I love it for my aging skin because it is that gentle 
exfoliator that doesn't hurt my skin my skin will get to the point to where i'm feeling like i'm never going to be able to use an acid again on it and i will go in with this and it doesn't do anything it's very gentle and you're going to see that turnover anyway but you're going to see it in a very calm way so when it says 30 days you want to you might want to use it every day in order to be able to build up to use something like this now when we're talking about vitamin c this is one of those ones that for me is non-negotiable vitamin c is the vitamin that we all need internally to fight off all kinds of diseases free radicals people in times of famine will die of scurvy which is a disease that will hit them and they can't fight anything else off. So it's really important to have this vitamin in our diet and equally as important to have this on our skin. Now, my friend Penny from Penn Smith Skin Care, she's the one that I just talk about all the time when I'm talking about skincare. She did this really cool um, experiment and she took a lemon, which has a high concentration of vitamin C, and she took a peach and she cut a peach up and she took the slice of it and she covered one with the, with the lemon juice and then the other one she left and you could visibly see the difference between the two. It was just crazy. That one that was untreated turned brown and was big beginning to look really nasty whereas the other one was just as fresh as a peach and so vitamin c is just vital for us to be able to fight off free radicals it is also one that they're finding more and more how important it is for collagen production itself and we used to be told all the time that retinol was the only thing that we could use that would build collagen go down deep enough to build collagen well now they're finding that they use they're used synergistically meaning that vitamin c and retinol or vitamin a those two vitamins together are such a powerhouse and doesn't that make sense and you add niacinamide in there which by the way is vitamin b3 you're using vitamins this makes so much sense that as they explore into these vitamins and they figure out how good these vitamins are for us inside of ourselves, why wouldn't it just be as good to put on our skin topically? Also vitamin E, which is not put in this lineup today, is another one that is so very important. So use your vitamins on your skin and vitamin C is an absolute must. Fighting off free radicals, helping to build collagen, helping to protect against fine lines and wrinkles. And so all of those things, discoloration, those, all of those things, so very important. One of my favorites is the Timeless. It does have vitamin E and ferulic acid in it. That's one that I don't have here right now. This one from Naturium though, this is their vitamin C super serum plus this has retinol hyaluronic acid niacinamide and salicylic acid in here in here and what's cool about this one is they've taken all of those other ingredients and they've balanced it with the vitamin c if you have somebody that is formulating something like this and it's all going together then you definitely are okay to use it on your skin like normally people say you have to be real careful with vitamin c and retinol and that's because they do have two different ph's and they might cancel each other out however in something like this they boost each other like i was talking about they work so synergistically they are just in this relationship where they make each other better and that's what they've done with this one i really have loved this one as well for me it was one that has been making a big change on the brightness of my skin so yeah hopefully that that was a little bit of a help let's talk about something that we all should have been using since we were in our 30s the minute i turned 30 i wish i knew about this product but i didn't even practice good skincare until about six or seven years ago shame on me but i didn't realize that i was going to need this so if there's anybody in your life that is about around 30 a girl in her late 20s start just preaching to them about all of these things these ingredients are not only just so important but they're going to help them through their whole life all right retin-a and that is trentinoin retinol retinaldehyde retinals all of those are in this scope of of vitamin a what is so interesting about vitamin a and why it is so vital for anybody that is talking about skincare is number one when you are in your 20s if you have any sort of acne it's going to be your 
saving grace. If you have somebody, a, a teenager or whatever, we want them to be on Retin-A. It's what's going to help them get through that horrible period when cystic acne or even breakouts are there and they really don't know what to do about it. Trentinoin, that's what it was developed for, was for acne and breakouts in people. But then they found, oh my goodness, these people are having all these extra benefits that are older. They're having all of these extra benefits of smoothing out their lines, taking care of their dark spots, and all of the things that we get when we age. So one of the things we want to look at is that there are different stages of retinols and how their strength. So we start off with retinol with an O, and that is the one that has the least amount of the vitamin A in it. So it's the one that's going to be the easiest on the skin. So if you've never done this before, you have sensitive skin, you might want to start at a retinol. Then you're going to go into retinol with an A or retinaldehyde, and those are the ones that are closer to retin-A. So you have steps where the, ret where the retinols have to convert themselves in order to make it to the actual retin-A or the trentinoin, which is the prescription. So the retinol is the first step. The second one is the retinols, retinaldehyde, all of those. You, that's where you might fall into. That's where I am at all the time because I can't use the prescription one because it's just too much for my very sensitive skin. But... What I want to suggest is that you talk to your dermatologist on this because you can't get Trentinoin or Retin-A without a prescription unless you go out of the country. And that's your business, whatever you want to do about that. So you're going to need to talk to a dermatologist or at least your doctor, tell them that you want it. And you're going to maybe want to start out with the tube that is the 0.025%, then go up to the 0.05%, and then go to the 0.1%. 1%. It's really strong. It's a, it is a prescription. But if you get to that 1%, you're going to just notice that your skin is changing so much. And a lot of people say, well, I didn't notice a change in my skin. You, This is the long haul ingredient. This is the ingredient that may take years. Like I told you, I'm on year seven about of my skincare journey. And I still notice changes from Retin-A all the time. And I feel like in the beginning, the first year or two, I wasn't noticing that big of changes. Now I'm noticing changes all the time. Very cumulative in this one. This is not going to show you immediate results. And if you think that you're going to, oh, Retin-A is the answer and I'm going to look younger in, you know, a few weeks. Uh-uh. Nope. You're going to have to be in this one for the long haul. And I want you to know that this is the long haul. So if you want to really dive in, start in with that prescription one first and talking to your doctor. If you feel like you want to start somewhere else, I've got a couple that I really absolutely love. Naturium has a great one. And this is again, the retinaldehyde. And this is their cream serum at 0.10%. This is one that I absolutely love this is very gel like there are no silicones or fillers in this this is and it just it sinks into the skin so quickly i can use this anywhere i can even use this around my eyes and it's really gentle but it does affect a change and i i love this one and also this one from the derma factory this one is the retinol um and it says a thousand ppm cream i'm pretty sure that this is like the 0.1 retinol cream and so retinol to hide and retinol they're pretty close to the same thing um and i you can see that i'm almost out of this one because i've really enjoyed using this one a lot the last product i want to recommend is a product for around your eyes that can be used not only underneath your eyes but on top of your eyes and for the first time in my life i this is my um going on my third bottle so i've just used two bottles of this up this is for the first time in my life, affecting a change on my eyelids. And I kid you not, I've always put all of my skincare all the way around my eyes. That's why I say stay away from your eyes with a bunch of this because I've been the guinea pig for you. So you don't want to put, you know, straight Retin-A around your eyes. You just don't want to do that. But this is formulated for that. So this is the Dermatology HPR Eye Cream. This is the high, oh, I can't even say that. Hydroxypinoclone. This is a retinoate. Sorry, I murdered that. It says improve and prevent signs of aging around the eyes and boy does it. I'm so surprised at this. A little tiny bit of this goes a very long way. So um, in two bottles, I've gotten six months out of it about. So like I said, this is my third bottle. Sinks in around your skin. There's no silicones in this. That's the other thing. If you're looking for skincare ingredients, please, you know, try and 
stay away from anything that says it's got a silicone in it because once that silicone goes on your face silicone creates a barrier it's what all of our primers are made up of to fill in our pores you hear them talking about a blurring primer or a blurring foundation it's because it has silicone in it and it sits on top of the skin and it makes our skin blur stay away from it for your skincare we want our skincare to go in so this is really gentle and really lovely and it just sinks in so easily and so quickly and love 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 this product i actually did a short very recently about this product next one is one that probably a lot of people wouldn't consider being high up on the necessity for anti-aging however the research that i have done about this is so compelling that i feel like this is for me very very important in my skincare and the ingredient is bifida and or galactomyces these are fermentation processes that were first discovered in breweries way back. I mean, we're talking before anything was sanitized, before, you know, when people were squishing grapes with their feet, all of the things that these brewers were using, they were noticing as the beer or any of whatever they were using to make beer was fermenting and they were working with their hands in there, whatever they were doing to work with their hands in there, but they were noticing that all their skin on their hands was becoming so beautiful as far as the discoloration of the dark spots fading the wrinkles were going away and they were just becoming brighter and brighter around the skin and they were like ding 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 and they started to think well maybe this is a good application for skin period and then there was somebody that took off with it and actually that's the brand sk2 or skii whichever it is i think it's sk2 that's that brand that brand started thinking this was the be all and the end all to anti-aging i wouldn't trade my retinol or vi my vitamin c for it in any case or my spf for it but in adding it in it's boosting all of those other things the other thing it is so gentle when i have overdone it with the retinol or the vitamin c and my skin feels like uh, you know around my eyes it just hurts or you know sometimes i would get a peel going on and it just hurt and I felt like there wasn't anything that I could put on my skin that was going to help. It was bifida or galactomyces. Now, the two that I want to recommend, I have recommended Secret Key, Cranicel. I've recommended all of those. Right now, these are the two I'm working on, but I have recommended the Benton Fermentation Essence for as long as I can remember on my channel. Cranicel is a great one. It's got just bifida in it and a little bit of galactomyces. This one from Benton has all the things in it as far as those fermentation processes and the reason that it's called it an essence i'm going to go like this otherwise it's going to squirt back at me the reason that it's called an essence is because it's watery just like one it you can see it run down my hand there it is a super watery product it sinks in this would be my first step an essence because it's watery is always the one that you use for first I can feel how hydrating that is. It doesn't feel just like water going on. It's sinking in, but it also feels extremely hydrating. And I can feel a little bit of that soothing effect. It is very, very gentle and very soothing, but it's going to brighten and you're going to love the benefits of it. Again, they feel like it was helps with dark spots, wrinkles, all of those things that we get as we age. The other one that I want to recommend, and this is just galactomyces. And this brand is called Cynic. It's probably not how it's actually said. S-C-I-N-I-C. -I -I this is a lot like Secret Key, a little bit less expensive. But again, this is the galactomyces ferment filtrate 90% almost all of the ones that are on the market that are sold by the big chains like estee lauder and lancome they have bifida and galactomyces in it but it's a fraction it's like 10 percent or less so if you want to get your hands on something that is like estee lauder night repair or lancome genifique look it up and try and you know find out what th that ingredient is i'm telling you it's going to be a fermentation process like bifida or like galactomyces but these are a fraction of the cost. This is 3.3 ounces and I, it's around 20, maybe $25. But the one that is 1.69 ounces from Lancome was over a hundred. So, you know, take it for what it's worth, use it for what it's worth. But I truly believe in these two ingredients and I have been using them probably for the last five years and always, always, always notice a difference when I quit using them and think I need to use something else. So love those. The last ingredient 
is the buzzword right now, not buzzword, buzzwords in ingredients, and it is copper peptides. We are hearing this everywhere. Everybody is talking about copper peptides and how good they are for your skin. Now, what we want to do is build collagen, right? Collagen is that bounce back, baby skin, um, plumpness. It fills out our lines and wrinkles. But I want to read to you all of the things that is claimed by copper peptides. And these aren't just claims. These are studies. So even though I'm telling you all this, aren't we all different? And we all need different things. So even though I'm talking to you about how I'm excited about all of these skincare ingredients, you might need one. You might need two. If, if I was going to pick, okay, three. There are three ingredients in here that I, I would pick. And then think about adding these other ones in. Vitamin C, vitamin A or retinols, and your SPF. Don't ever skip those three and you're going to start to notice a difference. And that's, I get asked this all the time. Which ones would you choose to do? That's where I would start. If I've never started before, I would use vitamin C in the morning, no matter what. I'd use my retinol at night and I would top off my vitamin C and my moisturizers with some sort of an SPF every single morning, every single night. That's what I would do if I was starting. And then add these other ones in as you like. So I'm going to read just this sentence to you that is from Bios. Bio Biosense, which is one of the serums I'm going to show you. What do copper peptides do for your face? The simple answer, copper peptides in your skincare make your skin plump and bouncy with visibly diminished fine lines. They also support the production of collagen, elastin, and help repair damaged tissue, resulting in tighter, bouncier skin with huge anti-aging benefits. Need we say more? They're just coming out with so many studies on this and I love it. So I have three in different price ranges that I wanna share with you. It isn't really debatable that we need copper peptides but they're really expensive. So first of all, everybody will ask me about what about the ordinary buffet with copper peptides? It's a good one. Go ahead and try it, get to using it. You want somewhere to start with copper peptides. It's a good thing to use. The other one that I have tried, this is my second bottle of this. I'm actually gonna give this one to my daughter. This one is from Derma E. This is the least expensive one that I'm sharing with you. It's the Ultralift DMAE Concentrated Serum with copper peptides, resveratrol, kakadu plum, titans, and tones. So this one definitely has it in there. This is a nice serum as well, very thin, and it will sink right into the skin. And yeah, this is one that I really enjoyed using when I was using it. And then we have this one. This is a really great one from CosRx. CosRx has the six peptide skin booster Peptides are the building blocks of collagen. We need that. Amino acids, peptides, collagen, okay? We need all of those. This has hyaluronic acid, NAG, and amino acids. Evens your skin tone, hydrating, firmness and smoothing, poor and sebum care, improves your skin texture, and this has copper peptides in it as well. So good. And then one that is dedicated to copper peptides from Biosense is the Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. This has quickly become my favorite because it's so very easy to use and this one sinks into your skin. That's like liquid gold right there going down my skin. That's a good thing I like my hands to have this kind of treatment too, but I really love this one. It's not only got the copper peptides in it, which gives all the benefits, but it also has the squalene and it is in a form that isn't going to block other things that you put on top of it. I love this one. I really, really think that this is a great one. And I did find a little bit of a sale on this one, which I'll try to see if it's still on and I'll link it below if it is. But that's the last one. And I know that I went really fast through a lot of these, but I'm really, really passionate about these seven skincare ingredients. Now, like I said, Take one at a time, you know, add it to your skincare. If you don't have a really good skincare routine, I will post a couple of videos with my most recent skincare routines. Although now that I have learned about the copper peptides and this particular sunscreen right here, I'm actually changing just a little bit to using those. And so I might be doing an updated one right away. I feel like these ones right here, these are the powerhouse. This is where I have doubled down. I've kind of trimmed all of the other stuff out of my skincare. These are the boom. These are the punch it out. Let's get our skin to look its very best at any age. I'm so happy you stopped by and I appreciate you sticking with me through this video. Hope everybody is doing really well. I love you much. Come back around really soon in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.